Okay, I'm doing this on a Mac. Probably you could do pretty much the same thing with, uh, with, with Windows. In fact, even the program I'm going to show you, GIMP, um, I'm pretty sure it has a, has a Windows version as well. So I've already got my newspapers, um, and the, the links that I sent, uh, 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 bookmarked here. So I'm going to go right to that paper. Uh, I'm going to pick out the date I want, which was uh, October uh, 9th, or 10th, 10th, um, because I've already done the 8th, edited the 8th. All right, now you can see I've got this the screen as big as I possibly can here. To make it a little bit bigger, I hit this full screen icon, which doesn't make it full screen, but it makes it, you know, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do away with this stuff, which you you probably can do. I know you can do it in um, uh, the, 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 uh, the other program, <laughs> um, um, oh, Firefox, because Emil uh, showed me how. Uh, but in any event, um, I just kind of scroll to the, to the page I want. Uh, in this case, I want uh, Dicky Dare. All right. So then I hit the, uh, the zoom in, and I just zoom in as many times as I think I need. And I can usually get away with seven, seven zooms on my computer, which makes it pretty big. Uh, might be able to even. Oh, it doesn't go any bigger. So there we go. That's as big as I got. So now I want to. Um, I want to get my image now. I'm going to open up a program on here called uh, Grab, but you can do this on your PC with um, with just the print key, uh, with the the uh, print screen key up in the uh, right hand corner of your keyboard uh, will copy the whole screen. Whereas I'm just going to try to capture a part of the image, but you can do it with the whole screen too. So, uh, in fact, I'll do that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to grab. And then wait for my menu here. Capture screen. Uh, okay, it's going to capture the whole screen. And then uh, what I want to do is, uh, so you can see it's, you know, the whole screen's captured on here. Okay. So I want to file, save as, and I know it's Dickie Dare, so I'm going to uh, save as DD55. 10010. It's gonna. It just automatically saves as a, a TIF file, which is what I like to work with, because it's non-lossless or non-lossy. No, it's non-lossy, not not. You know what I mean. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I'll quick grab. I'll get out of Safari here, and uh, I'm gonna open up the GIMP program. Now GIMP on here actually runs in the uh, the emulate. I'm not even sure what it is. X11. I, I really, honest to God, I don't even know what that means, but all I know is it works. I downloaded it and installed it and it just came right up. It's a lot like Photoshop. Um, uh, some different things that you have to do here. but uh, So um, I saved it to a file called uh, Daily Strips. So I'm going to go to File, Open, Desktop, Daily Strips, Dicky Dare for the 10th. Um, I don't know what that means, so I just assign it. <laughs> All right, so first off, uh, I probably, I, I'd like to straighten this just because uh, it's, it's just awkward. Now, I have a straighten tool on my other program that I just I just basically hit the straighten tool and I draw a line from here to here and it just automatically you know straightens it the way I want to. This doesn't work like that, so I'm going to use the rotate tool. Um, and uh, let's see, how did I do that? Oh, yeah, basically just you just drag it until. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to drag it until it looks like the the bottom line is is pretty straight there. That's that's the best I can do. All right. So then I hit the rotate button and it it takes care of that for me. Okay. So now it's reasonably straight. I mean, it's the best I can do. All right. Now I want to get I want to get my working image here. So I'm going to click on the uh, re rectangle select, and I'm going to get approximately what I want. Um, and of course it didn't set yet. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to draw this little uh, rectangle uh, outlining the strip that I want to save. Okay. Uh, at this point, 
what do I want to do? Um, hmm. Oh, image, probably crop. Crop to selection. Okay, here we go. Crop to selection. There's probably a short a keyboard shortcut. I just I just started using this program, so I don't I don't, I don't really know that. Okay, now th this has got like okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Let, let, let me show you with the erase tool. Um, once we use the erase tool here, you can see that the, it, it totally takes out the background because there's two layers here. There's this layer and the layer in the background. So uh, on my on my piece on my uh, Photoshop, I can hit the Shift key while I hold this down, the um, the erase, and I hit the Shift key and it automatic and it does it here. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Um, it just automatically keeps it in a straight line. Well, this doesn't do that. So I'm going to try a different little approach. I'm going to use the rectangle tool again. But um, oh, this darn thing! You have to click it twice before you get it to work. Uh, I'm just going to grab you know the, everything in that line, and I'm going to hit the delete key, and that's going to erase everything in there. Okay, and then I'm going to do it down here as well. Um, you see how I'm just trying to grab everything in there, and I'm going to hit the delete key, and hopefully I haven't yeah I haven't wiped anything out. Uh, if I want to get like some little spots or something, um, I just use the eraser tool. I mean, if you got a good steady hand, hey, great, go for it. <laughs> but for me, this works best. All right, so now uh, I want to flatten my layers. I don't want um, all these different layers there, so I am going to. Uh, flatten layers as soon as I can figure out how to do that. Um, hmm. Image. Flatten image. There we go. It's under image, flatten image. So I do that, and then what was missing just becomes white. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to, you, you see how part of this is kind of blurry? Well, I want to sharpen that. So I'm going to use my uh, rectangular marquee again. And it looks like it starts about right here. And, oh, darn you. Okay. And goes um, to about here and all the way down. All right. So now I'm going to go to my... Let's see, how did I do that? Um, okay, found it. <laughs> Filters, enhance, sharpen. Okay, it's going to show you the thing, and you can see um, as you as you move your sharpen thing here, um, it'll you know give you an idea what it's going to look like uh, you know in the sharpen mode. So uh, once you get there, you say. Okay, and you can see how it sharpened it up and took the blurriness away. All right. Uh, the only thing I want to do then is I want to um, uh, I want to fi uh, put it in grayscale uh, because it's it's a smaller file than the color, and I want to get rid of this uh, this darkness here. So image. Um, oh boy, I got to learn how to do all this. Color tools, levels. Okay, and the easiest way to do it is 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 like I I want this to be white. I mean I want you know like that dot there. So uh, I'm just going to hit the this um, uh, 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 eyedropper here, which is the white eyedropper. That's the black eyedropper, and I'm going to say this is my white area. Okay. All right, so it changes that to white. And if if you need to, you can always adjust um, the, the the color uh, on the on the picker here. You know, you can make it much darker or whatever. But I would never do that. Uh, I mean, I might make it a little bit darker, but not like that, not crazy like I just did. So uh, let's see what looks good here. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, and then when I got it set where I want it, I just hit OK. And then I'm ready to save it. So I just want to file, save, and I'm done. Hope that helps.